Coffee is so amazing. There's this gastronomical element of amazing flavors and aromas and being able to sort of savor coffee the way you would savor great wine or great food. Then there's this geographical element, being able to kind of explore the world through the lens of coffee, amazing coffee growing regions. You get to learn about the history of coffee and different varietals and varieties of coffee beans, but also the geography of really cool roasters and really cool cafes around the world. So there's this geographical element. And then there's this mastery element, using your hands and being able to like master the skill of making great coffee, getting the grind settings right, getting your uh, preparation technique right and be able to make an amazing cup of coffee. So for me, coffee is this really amazing thing that allows me to explore all these things that I love. Food and beverages, geography and travel, and of course, skills and mastery. And of course, there's the caffeine. The caffeine is amazing. If the caffeine wasn't there, let's be honest, I probably wouldn't be drinking coffee at all. So I love coffee, that's a given. And I love to travel, that's a given. By the way, I'm in Mexico City. I'm traveling here uh, for another month. So I thought it'd be helpful to make a video about what is my travel coffee rig? Because I like to have really good coffee when I'm traveling and I don't want to be at the mercy of having to find a really good coffee shop. And I also like to have coffee before I even leave the house in the morning. So over the last few years, I have uh, tested a bunch of different equipment, a bunch of different gear, brewing gear, grinders, scales, and things that can fit in my bags and things that are easy to sort of take with me wherever I go. I thought I'd boil it all down for you guys today to say, here are my top gear recommendations. And here's the kit that I'd recommend, whether you're into espresso, filter coffee, or both. But first, before we dive into it, if you don't mind, I have to do my shameless little YouTube plug, hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, all that really helps in these early days as I'm building the channel from scratch. So with no further ado, let's get into it. Two things you're gonna need before we can even get into the recommendation, just a caveat before I get into anything that I'm about to talk about. Number one is access to good, clean water. Here in Mexico, I need uh, you know filtered water, bottled water, this is Bonafont. You don't wanna be drinking from the tap, but if you happen to be in a city where tap water is fine or clean or tastes good, great, that's important. Number two is you need an ability to boil that water. So uh, an electric kettle, a hot kettle, uh, a, a little, you know, um, so ugh, saucepan, um, a microwave, whatever it would take to be able to boil and get water to temperature to be able to brew coffee. So with no further ado, now let's really get into it. So I'm gonna talk about three components you're gonna need when traveling. Number one, you're gonna need a brewer of some kind. I'll talk about my two favorites, both for espresso and filter. Number two, you're gonna need a grinder of some kind. I have a highly recommended grinder that is just a, my amazing travel companion. And number three, a scale. That's not completely necessary, we'll talk about that, but for me, I find it very helpful and I have one that I recommend you bring along. So first, let's jump into the brewers. With me here, of course, no surprise, is the AeroPress. It's very small footprint, it makes delicious coffee, and it's easy on the road. They even make a smaller travel size that you can take as well. Uh, good old faithful. There are tons and tons of recipes you can find online for this. People say it looks like a penis pump, maybe. Um, but this thing is a very easy brewer, super easy to clean, and it's a breeze to use. So it really is as simple as you throw in a paper filter, you screw on the cap, you dump in your ground coffee, you pour in hot water, you wait a little bit, you press it down, and today you've got really, really good coffee. Now, the AeroPress has tons of recipes that you can find online, so I have one that I use, an inverted technique, but you can use really any technique to kind of accentuate any specific flavors or tastes or parts of the coffee that you're after. But it's it's really easy to clean up too. You literally just pop out the puck at the end, you can give it a little wipe and a little rinse under the sink, let it dry, and it's good to go. So this thing is awesome not only for, you know, traveling and staying in Airbnbs and, and uh, you know, living out of your suitcase with all the amenities of modern life, but also even camping. This thing is, is a total champ. Number two is espresso. Now, if you are an espresso fiend, which I am, I love espresso. I could not believe when I discovered this thing. This is the Wakeco Pico Presso. And this thing makes amazing espresso on the go. I am, I'm still shocked by it. I'm shocked. The footprint is also teeny tiny. It actually comes with a little case like this. The whole thing, the whole espresso brewer packs into this little box and this is all you gotta take with you. Now it does have a lot of little parts. People think it's a little intimidating. It's got, um, you know, a basket that unscrews in here and a shower screen and a bunch of other little pieces and knickknacks and things. It can feel overwhelming when you're first getting into it. But now that I've used this thing for about three or four months, 
I can tell you like, it's so easy to use. The cleanup is also super easy. And again, the espresso quality is amazing. Now let me walk you through the, the very basics. And again, you can find a, a full proper recipe on this, but just the basics are, you preheat the whole thing with water first, pour some hot water, some boiling hot water in there to get this whole thing warmed up. You put your, your ground coffee into the basket. You can level it out. You can give it a little stir with the included little tool to remove clumps and distribute the ground coffee more even. You'll compress the coffee with this included tamper that hides away into the device, which is really cool. You pop on the shower screen, you screw it into the bottom, pour some fresh boiling water into the device on top now that you're, you, it's already preheated. You'll screw on the top and then you'll squeeze the pump. This thing just kind of comes off and opens up and you'll just squeeze that pump to introduce pressure. You can even do things like pre-infusion. You can control uh, how long you want things to sort of saturate and then you can control and squeeze out that beautiful, luscious, delicious, syrupy, amazing espresso. Girl, this stuff is amazing. So this Wakeko Pico Presso has changed the game for me. I cannot believe that I didn't have this before. So AeroPress is amazing and it is the, by far and away the most universal, easy to use tool. Like it's hard to screw that up. But if you have the ability to have amazing espresso wherever you go in the morning, first thing, I mean, I am, as you can tell, I'm geeking out about this thing, love it. I'm gonna include links to all this stuff in the descriptions and those links will give me commissions if you buy them on Amazon. So go support me if you wanna go <laughs> try this espresso machine, it's amazing. In terms of the hand grinder, I use a ton of hand grinders, some from Hario, some from Porlex. I've used a variety of different grinders while I'm on the road. And hand grinders tend to be annoying because they're very, very hard to use or they require a lot of uh, muscle to get the coffee ground out and to get like espresso. Sounds like a torturous task. And then sometimes the grind isn't even that good. Well, I took the recommendation of Lance Hedrick and some of the other big coffee guys online and got this. Well, that's also kind of fun before it hits in the face. But this is the Easy Presso K Ultra um, uh, grinder. This is not too expensive relatively. and it is so good. It allows me to grind all the way down to espresso for my Pico Presso to just talked about, all the way up to cold brew or French press. I mean, this is super easy. It's incredibly easy to adjust too. You literally just twist the dial on top. Most grinders require you to take the whole thing apart and unscrew something and try to count the number of clicks and remember what you did. This has numbers on the side and I can say, okay, I'm gonna go dial into uh, 5.1, you know, and I found that 3.1 to 3.3 is what I do for my espresso, typically five around for AeroPress and, and you can kind of move from there. But um, the other cool thing is got a magnetic catch cups on the bottom and this is pretty sturdy. I can like throw this thing, it wouldn't matter, but then I just twist it in the bottom it is a magnetic catch cup, which makes it very easy. And it's actually fitted really nicely to fit right into the AeroPress, right into the Pico Presso. And it just magnetically snaps on. So that's almost like a vibe like, um, like the Weber Workshops products. And it's really well made, super heavy in the hand, feels so good to use. And then this thing just snaps right on top after you put the beans on, just fits right in. And then you give it a good grind and, and it's super fast, very easy, and just a pleasure to use. So this thing is really, really good. And finally, a scale. Now a scale is helpful for measuring your beans, how many, how much your dose is as you're putting in your beans into your into your brewers, uh, how much coffee you're getting out, measuring your water, and also has a timer. So I recommend, and this is a you know a recommendation that's very expensive, so I recommend this cautiously. But if you're going to go buy the best gear, you might as well try the Akaya Lunar. This is the Akaya Lunar. This is their espresso uh, scale, but I find the size is so easy. I can just wrap this in a towel, throw it into my kit bag, and it's done. Um, for many people who know, the Akaya products are just amazing. They work perfectly well. Uh, they say, you know, buy once, cry once, and uh, and then you'll have the right product the rest of your life. It's incredibly fast, incredibly accurate. It's US, USB rechargeable, and it's just so much less of a pain in the ass than the other ones that I've tried. I tried some really cheap economy um, scales. They're either way too big, way too small. Uh, they can't handle a lot of weight, or they're constantly recalibrating. So. If you can, um, or if you already have an espresso uh, scale like this, or you're already using a product like this, throw it into your kit. If not, I would say of the three things I recommended, you know, a brewer, a grinder, and the scale, you can probably throw the scale away. Now, many people will say that's blasphemous. Um, I've made really good coffee without scales and timers, and you can use your timer on your phone or watch. So 
you know, you can eyeball this stuff to an extent. It just depends on, again, how down the rabbit hole you want to get. But with all that, those are my recommendations for my travel kit. The cool thing is I throw all of it into a shaving bag. This is actually, you can see how dirty this is. This is a shaving bag that I received as a gift on my bar mitzvah when I was 13 uh, for my Aunt Lori. So thank you. You'll be glad to know that I'm still using it. I actually use this a lot. I travel with it all over the world. Um, but I pop all that gear into here. So I've got the grinder, the uh, espresso brewer, the AeroPress. It has my name in there. It's pretty stained and nasty. But that tells you that it's been used with love. But I throw all the kit in there and this thing is ready to go. Pack it into my bag and it fits into my carry-on or anywhere I go. The cool thing and the reason why I'm so passionate about travel coffee for me is that it gives you just a great opportunity to jump into a cafe, meet cool baristas, grab a bag of coffee or find you know a cool local roaster and then try the coffee the next morning and be able to go back to that cafe and say, hey, I tried it on espresso, I tried it. Uh, as AeroPress and I had a great time or a great experience. So this is what I was looking for. Anyway, I wanted to keep this video nice and tight. Hopefully that was helpful. I wanted to help you if you're trying to build a copy travel rig of your own, whether you're doing espresso or brew, hopefully this was fun and cool. As you can tell, I'm super passionate about coffee, super passionate about travel. And I wanted to create a video that combined those two passions together. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you have other recommendations, any questions you have. Obviously I love this stuff and I'm happy to answer those in the comments below. Have a great day. Check out all the product links in the description and we'll catch you next time. Bye.